Hey guys, today we're going to talk about willful blindness. What is willful blindness? Willful blindness is a term used in law to describe a situation in which a person seeks to avoid civil or criminal liability for a wrongful act by intentionally keeping himself or herself unaware of facts that will make him liable or implicated. This usually occurs uh, when a person deliberately fails to make a reasonable inquiry uh, of wrongdoing despite suspicion or an awareness of the high probability of the existence of certain, certain facts. Let me give you an example in the case of the Misuse of Drugs Act. In the Misuse of Drugs Act, there's a presumption of knowledge of the, the nature of the drug and, but the presumption that the accused knows the nature of the drugs can be rebutted by evidence to the contrary. But, okay, this presumption cannot be rebutted by willful blindness or shutting one's eyes to the obvious. This was laid down in the case of PP and Harwin. For example, if you were caught with a package of heroin and you had reason to believe that the package did contain uh, heroin because of certain facts or circumstances within your knowledge. You can, and then you are willfully blind, you shut your eyes. You cannot then claim that you thought that the drugs were ecstasy or uh, marijuana. In the context of the doctrine of mistake, the courts are entitled to find actual knowledge where the non-mistaken party was guilty of willful blindness. In other words, in determining the circumstances under which a party should have made an inquiry, the court has to be satisfied that the non-mistaken party was in fact privy to a real reason that warranted the making of the inquiry. So constructive knowledge would suffice to bring a case within the common law principle of unilateral mistake. This was laid down in the case of Tree King Kiong and Digital Mall. What this means is that if a person is trying to rely on a doctrine of mistake for a contract matters, he cannot claim that he has no knowledge of the mistake if he was willfully blind. In the English case of Fear and Roberts, the estate of a deceased was uh, distributed wrongly to uh, another party who had the same name as the beneficiary under the estate. And the actual beneficiary, of course, sued for his uh, rightful uh, inheritance and the court held that it was unconscionable for the wrongful re recipient to retain the assets. The court found that the wrongful uh, recipient had not acted in good faith in relying on the representations that he was entitled to inheritance as a defendant, the wrongful recipient appreciated and knew that the gift might have well not been intended for him. Sometimes, willful blindness can amount to fraud. In the Singapore case of UOB Bank and BB Mohammad, uh, Justice Chan Se Kiong held that a mere failure to make further inquiries could not amount to willful blindness akin to fraud unless there was dishonesty, moral turpitude, want of property, or intent on the part of the mortgagee to disregard the mortgagor's interest. So thanks for watching this video on willful blindness.